Welcome back to the bird's nest. How you doing? Fly, eagles, fly. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned because this one is going to be about the future. I'm going to break down to you why and how the Philadelphia Eagles are going to rectify this horrible season. And what we're going to do is surround Carson Wentz and his team with the weapons needed to regain our spot perched on the top to get back to a Super Bowl. So, this just in. Odell Beckham is very unhappy in Cleveland. Very, very unhappy. I like it. You know why? This was one of the guys I was talking about that the Philadelphia Eagles need to go acquire. This is shorthanded Odell Beckham. Legendary Odell Beckham. Yes, he's not a Hall of Famer right now. But think about it. He's one of the stars in the NFL. The NFL shines when he shines, right? He's a great face, great name, right? Now, granted, he's childish, temper tantrums and all that, but he done got it together just in his one year that he's been with Cleveland. Now, granted, he a little diva, and he hasn't been getting the yards for catch and all of that, and he ain't been shining this year. That's because Baker Mayfield has been underperforming, yes. If you put Carson Wentz on the Cleveland Browns, with Landry on one side and Odell on the other, with Chubb as his running back, and then Hunt as the backup. Oh, my Lord. They be talking about them like they was Lamar Jackson in them. What you think Wentz's numbers would be with them dudes? Anyway, I regress. So, Odell Beckham should be a top priority for the Philadelphia Eagles to inquire about a trade. We need to be in discussions with Cleveland from now to the end of the year. And when that's when the season starts and we able to start talking to other teams, how we need to be on that phone. What do we need to do to go get Odell? If the price ain't too steep, let's get him. We have, by the way, 10 draft picks. We can afford to give up two to go get Odell. Carson Wentz is in need of weaponry. Elite talent is what is needed. And we must surround Carson Wentz with his guys. Guys that are going to make Carson Wentz and his game, the type of game that Carson plays, we must surround him with these type of weapons. Odell Beckham is fast. He's elusive, great route runner, right? He's good catching the ball. He's good running yards after catch. You see what he did with Eli? Imagine what he'd do with Carson throwing bombs and with them hard passes. He just needs a little bit of separation. And he's slick. He's great. He'll do it. Imagine Carson Wentz with Odell Buckham as his number one, and then, oh, yeah, let's get into it. We're going to draft something. Now, the Eagles draft picks, it's going to be quite simple. First round, we need to get a wide receiver. There are many elite wide receivers who may come out of this draft. Yes, I said it. This draft is looking like Odell Beckham in them draft. A lot of guys came out that draft. This is looking like one of those drafts where you better go get your guy. We have... Possibly the number 13 or 14 pick. We need to go get one of those elite wide receivers. We need someone who can stretch the field, who is young, who we ain't got to pay no money to. We can give him some chicken scratch and get his young, productive, you understand me, self out there balling with Carson Wentz. Deshaun Jackson is still signed. Okay, keep him in the wide receiver room. He the OG. He can school these guys. Go get What's his name? Uh, Henry Ruggs III or something? Go get C.D. Lamb. Those are the two guys I want. If you don't get one, go get the other. Both speedsters, both great hands, both reliable. Go get them. So you get one of them as the first round draft pick. Second round draft pick. Get the best cornerback available. What we got? Number 45, number 40, uh, 45, 44 pick. The best cornerback on the board we need to go get. We talking about not just any cornerback. We need somebody with speed and size. Quickness, good. Don't get bit off double moves. Somebody who could possibly be a CB1. 
Now, we don't expect you to be a CB1 the first year as a rookie, but that's what we need to be looking for. Someone who we like, listen, by year two or three, he'll be a top 10 cornerback in the league. That's what we need to draft in that second round. Instant productivity and also has a bright future and will only grow and grow to be a shutdown cornerback. We need a shutdown corner. Third round, the Eagles need to go get the best pass rusher available or if not defensive line, right, defensive tackle, we need depth there, or offensive line because Jason Peters is done. We know Dillard is the heir apparent, so get somebody else. Lane Johnson, if you notice, misses a couple games every season. Go get his heir apparent. Let's get him groomed up. Third round pick would be beautiful for something like that. Fourth round pick, we need to try to go get linebackers and a safety. That defense need help. Rue J. Hill is going to be back. They still ain't signed Malcolm Jenkins. McLeod probably going to stay, but what's up with Jenkins? And we need to get younger. Groom somebody. Get him in there. Get somebody hungry and good. Philadelphia Eagles also, besides our 10 draft picks, yeah, we're going to draft some more guys and all that, but the first five rounds is what's going to be impact players, I assume. Guys who we expect to start or be a great rotational player. Everything after that is hit or miss. And we need to do better drafting, better scouting, how we tighten up this year. We don't need no more duds. You see what happened in the 2017 draft class, duds. Oh, by the way, by the fourth or fifth round, we need to go get another wide receiver. If not, then you need to be trading to go get another wide receiver. We need to acquire... Oh, by the way, look at all these free agents available for the Philadelphia Eagles as far as running backs. I'll wait. Look at all the wide receivers available in free agency. Parker. We could trade to go get Odell. It's moves to be made. We can go get Robbie, who we've been looking at for the last couple of years. Ain't trade go get. Let's go get it. We need at least two speedsters and keep Deshaun Jackson. Why? Because this opens up the field. And this, pay attention. Carson Wentz has a strong arm. He likes to throw the ball down the field. He's not a dink and dunk type of quarterback. So you know that. So because of that, get him the weapons he needs. The wide receivers. Get him the weapons he needs. We need dudes who are fast, who can get separation. We already got a couple of big bodies, JJ. We got a couple other people. Make it happen. We can go get some of these running backs. We got Miles. Go get one of these other dudes. If I say keep Jordan Howard. But if you say, okay, not him, then get somebody else. There's a couple out there. We got things to do. Eagles going to be beautiful next year. I can't wait to the draft. We going to be back? Yes. And... We still gonna make the playoffs this year. Holla at.